Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be the super random book tag. Um, and this was created by Head Over Books. I will try and link their channel down below for you, but let's just dive right in. Question number one is pick a colour that you associate with the mood you feel when you're reading your favourite book. I don't really associate colours with moods or with books, so that's a difficult one to answer. Um, one of my favourite books is The Hobbit and the first cover that I had for that one, there's a very bright blue sky on that one and I suppose that's the only time I can think of a colour being associated with a book. Question number two is pick the best movie adaptation you've seen. For me that is The Lord of the Rings. I know there are some people who have issues with it because there's a lot of the first book left out but then there's a lot of the first book left out that I don't get on with reading. Um, so for me that was a bonus and I actually really really love them. I have to say that though at the point that I watched The Fellowship of the Ring for the first time I just finished a reread of the actual book itself and with the book in mind I did go in going there's too much they, they, they've missed out a lot why have they missed out so much and I decided to go back and watch it and forget about the books themselves and just take this the the video the film at face value and i fell in love with it and they are some of my all-time favorite all-time favorite um books and films question number three pick a book that matches your favorite song at the moment um i don't tend to have favorite songs in the moment um I usually just set my playlist uh, to rant, play something random. Um, so I use Amazon Music and it has a My Soundtrack, um, which just plays random songs based on what I've been listening to recently. So I don't really have any favourite tracks, so I can't really pick a book for that one. Question number four, pick a book that puts you in a slump. I don't have any. Um, books that... Books that leaving that leave me. I don't, I don't. I wouldn't say any book puts me in a slump. I'd say forcing me to read something that I'm not in the mood for puts me in a slump. Um, but not actual books themselves. Um, sometimes I feel like I need a break if it's overly emotional at the end of the book. Um, but other than that, no, there isn't a specific book I've read that's ever actually put me in a slump. Question number five, name a book that you've spent too much money on. Harry Potter. Um, at this point, I have eight copies of the first book. Eight copies of the first book. Um, and also, uh, as I'm filming this, I'm waiting for a new copy of The Lord of the Rings to arrive. Um, yeah, that's probably cost me a bit more than I wanted to pay. Um, but it's a special edition. You pay more for the special editions. Question number six, name a book that you want but you can't really afford. I couldn't really afford the edition of The Lord of the Rings that I've just talked about, but the Farseer trilogy of by Robin Hobb, they've released um, illustrated, full illustrated editions of those. And the first one is £30, the second one is £35, and the fourth one, the third one is £40. I think to buy the three together is about £105 <clears throat> in UK money. That's a lot of money. And I'm in the middle of buying my own place and I can't justify spending that much money on a book now, but I really, really want them. Question number seven, name a group of friends that you love. I have said this before in a previous tag, but I really like the friendship group in Fellowship of the Rings, um, especially the, the Hobbit uh, friendship group, Merry and Pippin and Sam and Frodo. Um, there is a friendship group in the final, or more of a travelling group, um, in the final series of The Realm of the Eldlings by Robin Hobb, and they've become friends, um, and I really love that friendship. Uh, 
There's a romance series called Driven by Kay Bromberg. The friendship uh, between Haddy and Riley is just awesome. And so is the friendship between Colton and Bex. Um, there's probably a ton of friendships that I absolutely love, but just can't think of off the top of my head other than ones I've already talked about. Question number eight is your top three favourite books. This is difficult to narrow down. Um, the Magic Cottage by James Herbert. The Hobbit by Tolkien, obviously. I've said that many, many times. And narrow it down to a third? Uh, Rose Matter by Stephen King. Those are my three. Question number nine. Name a book you want to add to your never-ending TBR. Meet Me at the Wedding by Georgia Toffolo. That comes out in March next year. I really want to read that one and I keep checking NetGalley every day to see if it's come available on there because a couple of the others have. Um, can't think of any others. I'm not, I don't really look at new releases. Um, I don't tend to go browsing in bookshops. Um, so yeah, I, I tend to buy books as I want. Um, I might randomly go into the bookshop, but I'll pick up. If I see a book, I'll pick it up. Question number 10. Name a book, a popular book that you haven't read yet. Pretty much anything you see on, on BookTube. There are quite a lot of books that are very popular on BookTube that I haven't read. I don't pick them up. I try not to allow myself to be influenced by them. Um, I have read some. Uh, so there's some Lee Bardugo and some Lainey Taylor books I haven't read, which are much beloved on BookTube. Um, but other than that, um, I, I tend not to. So you could probably pick pretty much pick anything that's that's um, on social media. Question number 11. Name a book that gives you all the feels. I've said it before in numerous videos. False Fate by Robin Hobb um, and Rose Matter by Stephen King. Um, between the two of them, I feel the whole run of emotions. Uh, so they are definitely two that if you want to feel something they are definitely two that I recommend question number 12 name a book adaptation that you binge watched um the only one that I can think of is Firefly Lane by Kristen Hanna um and then the only reason I watched I read the book was because um the tv series left you with questions um and it turns out it wasn't uh, the full book so I read the book um, but yes, I binge watched Firefly Lane. I watched an episode every time I had a spare half an hour to, to sit down um, on my own and watch something on TV. Question number 13. Name a book that's sweet but also sour. Mentioned it already. Fool's Fate by Robin Hobb. Um, it's the last book in the Tawny Man series and it has a happy but sad ending. And yeah, it makes me cry every time. But some of those tears are happy ones too. And the final question, question number 14, is name a book that you've been spoiled for. I haven't. I'm pretty good at avoiding spoilers. I think the closest I've come is the Wheel of Time series. Um, I've heard mention of odd deaths in here, uh, but I've forgotten them. Um, so that's not so bad. But yes, uh, pretty good at avoiding spoilers, so I don't tend to get a spoiled book for books that often. Once I start reading a book, I won't look up anything about it. Um, I don't watch spoiler-filled reviews for books that I haven't read on BookTube. I don't read spoilers in reviews um, on review sites. So for me, I'm pretty good at avoiding that. Mm. So that was the super random book tag. As always, I tag everyone that's watching this um, that makes videos. I will leave the questions in the description box down below. And I will, uh, um, I'd love it if you let me know when you've done it so I can come along and watch them too. If you've liked this video, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I make videos and put them up every Monday at 6.30pm UK time and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye!